Hi there, it's Tanya the Nibbity Sticker Co. and I am here to show you my sticker kit lineup for March. Like what? Can you believe it's already March? I'm I'm still shooketh. So I had mentioned before my haul that I was gonna likely use this for my best friend's birthday week and I decided to do it. I decided to do it. This was the other kit I was gonna use because my girl loves her some Barbie but I love this one. Like this is just so my jam and this is much more spring colored. So let me show you. So, oh my gosh, isn't this pretty? Oh, normally I have my planner here so you can see what I'm up to, right? Does that matter? Does that make a difference that you guys know what video it is? You can see all my terrible sticky notes. Okay, yeah. So isn't this so cute? Look at these full boxes. Oh my goodness. I'm so jazzed. I cannot wait. I'm hoping we get a little bit of a date. I don't really know her schedule, but I'm hopeful. Oh, this is the washi I'll show you to in a second. So cute. I'm so ready for it. I'm so, so ready. So I think I'm going to use both of these and then I'm going to put on top of it this one. I can do this. So like that, which that one, now that I review it might be too busy, but I most certainly am gonna figure out how to use this one. I just, I love it. Even if I end up cutting it up and like fitting it into boxes, I just think it's so cute. I've never used a kit that had like this mismatch sizing and all this stuff, but I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to the challenge. Oh, you also have these little baby ones. So I wonder if like those two, okay. If I do this one here, and then I do these two over here, I could still put this in here with no problem. Ooh, I might do that. I might do that. That could be really, really fun. What do we think? Ooh, what do we think? I'm really excited about it. What do the date covers look like? Because maybe there's no, oh, okay, so Thursday. If it wasn't for Thursday, I would say I would put them under these underneath the date cover so they could peek out, but maybe it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Or maybe I find some other date covers that I like dig a little better. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into this one. This one is gonna require some research, which is my favorite thing to do. I was hoping to bring in some foil, but I couldn't really decide on what I wanted. So again, I think last minute I'm gonna make the decision. And you guys can all just see what I decided to do. So yeah, that is for Sarah's birthday. It is on the 29th, and I am so excited. So next up is the week of April 4th through the 10th, and I am finally doing it. I'm finally doing this. I'm using this kit. This was, okay, so full disclosure, I chopped the top off so it fits into my stuff. So this is the Terrarium subscription from sometime last year, and I'm obsessed. And yeah, I she actually reformatted this one, which is kind of rare, but I guess it was so popular that she reformatted it into $2 Tuesday. So I have not only the subscription kit, I also have the actual $2 Tuesday sheets because I love it so much, I have not wanted to use it at all. So here, it's just a mix. I'm gonna show you all the things I have that can clearly do three to four weeks. Like, am I upset? No, this is amazing. And yeah, I... I can't handle it. I'm so jazzed. I can't believe it's taken me this long, but I totally can because it's within my wheelhouse to hoard this forever. You know. So can't, can't wait. So jazzed. Might even use a weekend banner. We'll see. I already made myself feel a little bad about saying I might. So then you have the date covers, which are these cute little terrariums. I'm so here for it. And then you have the color palette, which I really, really like. And then the piece de resistance, the bottom washi. Look at a little side profile fat Frank. Like, can you handle how cute he is? He is so chubby. I I cannot handle it. My hype level is, is too much. I was seriously considering using these two and just leaving this one out. But I really think it's cute to have one with a little fat Frank and then one over here with more terrarium. So I'm going to do it. I can't, I can't handle it. And then this is, a sh when I cut these sheets up, I have some stuff that gets cut off. So I pulled what I needed from this and de the rest. So yeah. And then now, I think you guys are gonna agree with my washi selection. Is it inspired? No, it is not inspired. You've absolutely seen this washi before. So I'm fully aware that, you know, I have apparently a type of washi and a type of coloring that I like, but I'm using this gem of the month. I think this is like aquamarine and I'm here for it. It's so perfect, a little bit of shine. And I was gonna bring in, so Sarah had bought the roll when she had done just the bottom succulent roll 
um, but I don't know what I did with my sample. So that's my bad, but I have plenty of headers. I have plenty of baby washi. I'm going to be perfectly content because frankly, with the fact that I'm going to be using the entire bottom washi, I might not actually need this. I might again, take a page out of like Kayla and Darshell and do, you know, maybe like it under the date cover. We will see. Cause I also, there's another person I follow the planner files and she puts a header behind it, which is really cute. I don't know. We're just going to have to see, but I do think that this is the deciding um, color scheme for the washi. I thought about baby purple, but we'll see. I'm going to do a mix of the kit boxes and the $2 Tuesday because the $2 Tuesday boxes are all functional. Like you can see, and these are more, or these are all decorative. And then some of these are functional. So I'm going to do a mix of the functionals and the decoratives. Y'all, I'm jazzed for this one. I'm nervous. I hope I don't mess it up. I'm going to going to do my darndest. Like I really want to know what I think of the washi on top though. Do you guys want to do a test with me? We'll see what we think. Okay. What do we think? Do it with the washi like so. What do we think? Oh, she's pretty cute. We might do that. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Moving forward, unless I forget the plan in the next couple weeks, which hmm, maybe that is what we're going to do. So cute. Can't wait to use it. And then it will go back in my stash to hoard for another year or two or three. Who's to say? And then we have April 11th through the 17th, which is the week that I believe that the new um, Fantastic Beasts Dumbledore movie comes out. I think it's the 15th, maybe. Well, I'm using this from Planning World. I bought it so many moons ago. This is not a Fantastic Beasts kit. I have one in my shop, but I decided it was time to stop hoarding on my Harry Potter kits, specifically my Huffle one, my Hufflepuff ones, because I'm totally a Hufflepuff. Look at it. So pretty. Never used her shop before, but I've had this kit for a thousand years. I really like it. So her kit's really interesting. Let me show you the, I just, I was, I'm, I was a little tickled by this. So you have these full, like eight functional boxes, super cute. All of them are gorgeous with the foil. Like it's so good, right? Then she gives you different skin tones for girls, which I'm obsessed with. Like if I had hair, I would be more related like this kind of thing, but I don't, but it would be like this. Then you have so many checklists. You have these gorgeous foil date dots, more icons and flags and another girl in a different colorway. Then you have the bottom washi, which I most assuredly will be using this one. I like this one, don't get me wrong, but there's no Hufflepuff bow and I, I want there to be a Hufflepuff bow because I'm a Hufflepuff. So I'm gonna do this one. Love the date covers and some washi strips. Then you have a Buku, like an absolute plethora of headers, which I like. Then these cute labels, even more boxes. I am obsessed. And then you have functional boxes. How fun is this? Like I think with some proper, you know, picking and choosing of my boxes, I could easily pull this in to two weeks. So I would have to pull a different, um, you know, weekly box later on, but I could say pick four of these and then do three of these or four of those and this, you know, that kind of thing. So we'll see. I don't know. I might just go for it and it won't matter. But I'm kind of thinking I might try to break this into two. I like these date covers though. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to go ahead and use them here and be done with it. But I, I'm actually really excited for this. And so I decided I wanted to be a little extra and bring in more foil. So I have these amazing hollow Harry Potter underlays from Planet Hannah. I got these on one of the TPC sales many a moon ago. So excited about how these are going to look together. Like, could you be more obsessed? Like, so good. And then, because again, we're not, we're not that interesting. I'm doing full hollow here. So my thought process was, because I like the one with the little footsteps, because it's yellow, like Huffle Pride, I would bow and then little steps. And then next time when I use this one, I could still do the hollow bow, but with bows and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Or I could find some Harry Potter washi, Lord knows I have some. So yeah, this is what I'm thinking about for the week that is the release of the Fantastic Beast movie. So I, again, aware that this is definitely not Fantastic Beast, but it is magical and that's what matters. And I cannot wait. So excited. So, so excited. Okay. Yeah. All right. So for, oh, this is also the week of Easter. Oops. I did not realize that. So I'm going to keep what I'm going for, but I didn't realize that. My bad. All right. Then we have the week of the 18th through the 24th, which will be the last kit in this lineup because the following week has the first on it. I'm doing it. 
I don't want to do it, but I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna use the Gross. This was a subscription kit from sometime last year, maybe the year before, I don't know, um, from Simply Gilded. And I, when this one, I haven't been excited about a sub kit in a bit at that point. Like she was definitely trying out new things, which was amazing, but I hadn't been like straight up excited for a kit in a hot minute. And then this one showed up and I was like, I don't even like plants that much, but this coloring is astonishing to me. And I was like, I need it. And I've been happily hoarding it as such. And I decided it was time to use it. I did use it one time in my baby planner. I want to say it was my A&N last year, um, but I have more than plenty. So as you can see, I also put a little overlay on it, which I'll show you the sheet it came from. It was a freebie. It was like her um, surprise thing you got in her box at the time. So you have boxes. I wanted to see what this header looked like. So I pulled it. My bad date covers, which I'm leaning toward using these. And then because they're kind of in the middle, like as you can see, they're kind of in the middle of the coloring, putting like a rose gold dot on top to just give it like some pizzazz. I just think it'd be cute. Plus I feel like these might be easier to pull in later. And again, I put an overlay on this one. Then you have the date numbers, which I think will be really cute on top of like Oh, the green ones, if I were going to use the green ones, that'd be really cute, right? That little pop of color, but I'm not, so they will sit out. Then I have these um, basic icons, this iridescent black. Am I going to use these? Now, maybe, because there's these little pops of black, and I do think they're neat. We'll see. There's, they, that's why they've stayed with this kit, because I haven't decided. And then, oh my gosh. Her new kits have way more boxes, which I fully appreciate, but this one has a pretty good amount. And I was thinking of pulling in some of the foil samples that I got from SPC, but I'm not sure if I wanna bring in a rose gold or if I wanna pull in like a black or maybe like a light pink foil. I'm gonna have to look into it. So these are the overlays. Um, they are like, um, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see this, but if you can kind of see, there's these like shimmery stars. So it's not like foil foil, it's more of like a shimmer situation. And I tested them out and I liked it, but I didn't love it. So I'm gonna de-stash these, but I wanted to show you, it was, you know, these six and then the three that I used in this kit. Then these are so cute. These are leaves and they're clear, which are really fun. And I wanna to try to figure out how to use these, but I haven't quite figured it out yet. And I haven't, I haven't committed to de-stashing them, but I haven't committed to using them. So here we are. And then we have bow seals. I use these two, apparently. I don't remember doing it, but sure. I'm hoping to pull some of these in. I'm leaning toward pulling this one in because I feel like this one would be the most difficult to pull into other spreads. So that's the plan. And then we have another, what did I, what? Oh, y'all, I didn't even know this. Apparently I had two of these kits. Oh, that explains why I had so many stickers, y'all. My bad. Okay, so apparently I had two of these kits. So we have a fully intact kit right here. And then we have the pilfered kit right here. Ooh, exciting. That gives me more things to play with. Because let's see, box wise, I want to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, cool. That worked out. So that's the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, I'll just use this one. It's fine. Okay. That was exciting. We all learned together that apparently I bought another one of these and didn't even realize that y'all use your stash because this is what nonsense happens. And then you will have to wait until the next video to see the kit that will be used um, for Sunday. Oh, May 1st is on a Sunday. This really should belong in this video. Do I want to grab the kit? No, no. I'm going to, I'm going to keep with my plan. Stay with in each planner month, and the first is when the video starts because it just makes sense to me. So, anyway, thank you so much. I hope you like the lineup. I would love if you told me what you think. Do you think, yeah, we can like you can vote down below. Do you think I'm gonna stick to this, or do you think I'm gonna mix it up again? Because uh, who's to say? So far, though, March was um, I was pretty good. I will just tell you now that I stuck to March, <laughs> I stuck to March. Everything I said I was going to use in the video, I did. So, haha, -ha. that's the first time in like, you know, ever. So, yeah, thank you so much. And I'd love if you gave this video a thumbs up. If you decide you want to come join the Itty Bitty Sticker Co. family, that would be amazing. And you just need to hit the subscribe button. And I, oh, oh no, washi for that other one. It matched. It's, it's what came in the sub box. I will try to remember to show this more in detail um, when that happens. My bad, y'all. I'm a bad, I'm a bad YouTuber. Okay, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.